Hey! It's 8.30 in the morning and I'm going to get an ultrasound. Woohoo! Not pregnant, just eating good. <laughs> I'm going to get an ultrasound because I have a lot of problems with my body. And they don't have to do with babies, they just have to do with food. So it's pretty boring. I woke up this morning. Waking up in the morning. And I knew I was going to the doctor and I knew I was going to have to eat. Okay, let me go back. I'm gonna be out of my house for like five hours today. So I made a matcha latte to go, and then I also made, hold on, let me try not to crash my car right quick. I literally made sausage balls. That sounds gross, but it, it is quite literal. They're balls of sausage that I made at home. And I put them in the microwave and I wrapped them in foil and put them in a Pyrex and I'm just praying to God that they're gonna stay warm. So this is like a fun science experiment for me. Like how long will my food stay warm? Almost got hit by a car. La, 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 la. My life's been pretty weird recently, so I thought I would update you guys on that. Yesterday, I kind of had this realization that I don't care about anything. Um, I don't know if that makes sense because I like do care about stuff. My house, I like it a lot. If I didn't have my house, I would be very sad. But when it comes down to the wire, I'm cool with letting my house become a mess, you know? I'm cool with not doing my laundry, with not making my bed, with leaving my living room a trash hole. Like, it's not a big deal to me, right? And Emin explained to me that like people who really, really care about stuff, like don't don't let that happen because they really care. So like if your room is a huge mess, it's because you don't care that much. So I kind of just realized that's how I am with most things in life. Like on the surface, I care deeply, but then my actions say otherwise. Is this too deep for an 8.30 in the morning conversation? In other news, I really have to poop really bad. So how are you? Amazing. I just feel like I'm always the one talking, but you guys never talk. Hi guys, I just got an ultrasound on my belly and it was weird because I didn't wear a bra because I don't really wear bras anymore because I hate them, legitimately hate them. I don't know, I was like laying there and she was doing like my stomach and like all my organs basically. I think all my organs, except like, what is an organ really? And so she had to like get up here and like pull my shirt up and stuff and my boobs weren't out but it felt like they were gonna come out. Anyway, time for a little science test. I put these sausage balls in a Pyrex an hour and a half ago and I still feel heat on the bottom. Let's taste them. Okay, mm, yeah, I didn't heat them enough at home. Next science test is my drink. <gasps> I'm feeling some heat on the lid, which I think is not a good thing, but let's open this bitch up and see if it works. <laughs> It's blazing hot! I got this cup from Target like a long time ago because I wanted like a reusable coffee cup. Now, I never use it because I'm too scared to ask people like, hey, I have a reusable cup. Can I use it? But it works! Wow, this is the best day of my life. Trying to see the stars through the new pollution. Hey guys, I'm back. Wanted to show you my Walmart haul. <laughs> oh, got some very fun adult stuff. Not adult stuff, but adult stuff. Oh, they definitely gave me someone else's order. That's good. I got stain remover. I got some free, did not buy this, Dove body wash. All right, I don't need that. And then last but not least, oh, I got a weird chest pain. Uh, do you guys ever get weird random pains? Anyway, we got some Clorox bleach. This is what it's like living on your own in your own house. And then the last thing I got is a new razor, and oh my god, am I excited about this one. I used to live in Emin's parents' house, okay, and I used to steal his sister's razor all the time because it was so good, and I got it for myself finally. Hashtag not spawns. It's just this razor called Joy. Five blade, ra yeah, it's a five blade razor, and this is probably the best razor I've ever used. This razor is amazing, so if you want to try a new one, I'll put the link in the description. That's my haul. I'm going to make breakfast now. I'm gonna make an acai bowl. They are so delicious. It's like not even funny. I don't know why it would be funny, but it's not. Ooh, baby, ooh, ooh. <laughs> why are you yelling? Why are you running? Anyway, I'm making a bowl, okay? I called it an acai bowl. It's not, it's a blueberry bowl. So let me tell you what I put in it. Frozen blueberries, granola, almond butter. You know, some people say almond butter. I think that's hella weird, no offense. Cashew milk, spinach, strawberries, and avocado. Okay, some ingredients might sound a little funky, but the truth is they don't taste like anything and they add a lot of nutritional value. Okay, so let's put this crap together. Guys, I have the weakest hands known to man, and I'm not even being like one of those girls, oh, I'm just so small, but like for real, like I have the weakest hands out of anybody anyone has ever met. And I'm not even a small person, like I'm five foot nine, but these hands, do you see my pinky fingers? They're the size of a little baby's Wait, these aren't pinkies. These are the size of a little baby's pointer finger. Ooh, baby, ooh. All right, everybody.
everybody. It's time to assemble the bowl now. This is my favorite part. <laughs> Remember what I said about the hand strength? <laughs> oh, I got it. We're good. You want it to be a thick boy. All right, so now I add my strawberries. I add a lot, because I really like strawberries. And then my half a banana. And then I'm just gonna put a big old scoop of almond butter. All right, and then I throw in a little bit of my homemade granola. And I forgot a little bit of coconut. It literally doesn't taste like anything. Uh, it just looks really pretty, so I put it on. There it is, guys. Check it out. Look at us. Just sharing a meal, having a good time. Good morning to you, good morning to me. It's actually 1 p.m., but still feels like the morning. Guys, my dog loves ice cubes so much. Look at what happens when I go to use the ice machine in my house. Hey! You want an ice cube? Is that what you're asking for? And then he freaking takes it and like brings it to the other room like it's his toy, and he just eats it on the carpet. All right, guys, time for another unboxing. I got something really cool in the mail, guys. I got some art pieces for my wall. Oh, I'm very excited about these, guys. Woo! First up, we have Vincent Van Gogh. Oh my god, these are so cool. Check it out. Oh, wow. Here's the first one. All right, number two, I love this one. Check it out. Look at how cute this is, guys. <gasps> guys, this is the last one. Look at this. <gasps> These are so cool. I can't wait to put them on the wall. Guys, I wanted to show you my fit for today. I don't usually try to get dressed, even though I really want to, because let me tell you something about being a woman. Women are expected to like look good all the time, to get dressed and do makeup and hair and whatever every day. And I'm not against that, because I like like looking good. I like putting myself together, but I genuinely have no idea how to do that. I don't know what I'm doing when I get dressed in the morning or when I try to look good. I don't understand how people do it. I do not get it. I have a closet full of clothes back there and most of it I don't even like. I literally woke up 15 minutes before I was supposed to leave. It was dark in my room and I just pulled some clothes out and put them on and it turns out it's pretty cute. Ew, my shoe is nasty. I don't know. I just don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so me looking good today, that is just an accident. Also, I've been getting these weird dry patches on my face. Oh, his camera's so so high quality, you can probably see all of it. Do you see, do you see like the dryness? Do you see it? Or like on my eyelids, there's some. But I bought this machine that gets like piling. If you guys know what that is, like these little ugly ass little things on the pants and on clothes, like, oh, there it is. Do you see it? It's very annoying. So I bought this machine on Amazon that's supposed to get rid of it. So I'm gonna try it and see if it works. Okay, I got my little machine. This is what it looks like. Uh, okay, I genuinely don't know how it works. So I don't know how to do it. I'm just gonna run it over this thing and see if it works. Do you see it? There's the before. <gasps> I'm scared it's gonna like slice me somehow. Oh my God, it's totally working. How the hell does this even work? Oh, it works better if you push harder. That's what she said. Also guys, it's Treat Yourself Thursday. <laughs> Me and my husband are uh, losers, so we don't really go anywhere or do anything at all, mainly because of COVID, but also because we're losers. We decided to do like a schedule where like we do something every night. So we have like Movie Monday and like Wario Wednesday when we play video games and like today is Treat Yourself Thursday. So we're gonna go get burgers after this and I'm very excited about it. But I'm gonna go back to doing this, probably gonna watch some Curtis Connor and then I will check back in with you guys. <gasps> Our food's ready, yes. We ordered it literally as we were leaving our house so that it could be fresh and hot and crispy by the time that we actually get it. All right guys, burger tour. I got a bunless burger, mm. grilled onions on top, and then I got guacamole because I love avocado and vegan mayonnaise. It's not a typical burger, I know. Normally you get lettuce, tomato, bread, cheese. I'm more of like a fancy burger type of gal. Guys, I'm feeling really good about my day. I feel like I just kind of hung out with you guys and like, Took the lint off my pants. <laughs> it's kind of all I did today. Oh, I have a canker sore. Point is, I feel good about today. Guys, I'm clipping my toenails and I just cut one so small. <gasps> I legitimately wish I could show you. I can't show you my foot. That's inappropriate to some people. My toenail is about the size of an ant. It's basically non-existent. <laughs> anyway, I just took a post-period shower, as I like to call them. Basically, when I have my period, it's like a week, so at the end of it, I like to take a really long shower because it's when I feel my most clean, like the day after. I'm like, finally, I can just get clean and stay clean for like more than two minutes. So I shave my entire body.
literally the whole thing. I put lotion on my legs. I did a skincare routine because my skin has been feeling so dry and it just feels really nice. So 10 out of 10 would recommend taking a hella long shower the day after your period ends because it makes you feel clean. So thanks for watching. I love you all. Subscribe if you like my videos. If you don't like my videos, don't subscribe. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in a couple days. I'm gonna go watch Curtis Connor now. Goodbye.